Hi there, it's V with Crafting Daily Dose, and today I'm going to be putting stamped images on a candle. Now, this is not a new technique, but I do think that this stamp set works particularly well for a nice modern look for these candles. Now, we're not stamping directly onto the candle, but what we are going to do is stamp on tissue paper and then use heat and wax to fuse that tissue paper to the candle so that it looks like the image was printed on somehow. So let's get started. For this project, I am using a pillar candle. I also have a piece of tissue paper. Of course, you can find this with gift wrapping supplies, but also look through your stash and see what you might have. Your paper pumpkin may have come wrapped in tissue paper. If you have the acetate window sheets or if you have laser cut papers, oftentimes there's tissue paper in between the layers to help keep them separate. I'm using white tissue paper for my white candle, and it's nice if you can get that to match, but if not, that's fine. You're only going to see a little bit of the tissue paper, and so if you're using a colored candle and don't have tissue paper to match it, just a white or cream tissue would be fine. I also have some wax paper, and this is just regular wax paper. I've got the ink color that I want to use, and I also have my silicone mat, which is optional but helpful. For my stamps, I'm using this ink splotch stamp from the Artistically Inked set. And I'm also using a smaller version of it from the June 2021 paper pumpkin, but really this would work with either one of those stamps by themselves. I'm using them in combination just so that I can get a little bit more variety. I'm using a little sponge dauber, that's optional too, but I find that I get a lighter, more wispy look with these stamps if I use a dauber and there's less ink on the stamp. And finally, you will need a heat tool. I'm going to start by stamping my tissue paper and I've already measured it around to make sure that it's going to go around the circumference of the candle and give me a little bit of overlap. And that's because for the design that I'm doing, I want it to encircle the candle, but depending on your design, it may not be necessary to cover the whole candle. I'm using polished pink for mine. I'm going to ink up my stamp. It's nice if your tissue paper is pretty straight. It's okay to have some wrinkles, but you don't want it too wrinkly because then it makes it hard to stamp evenly. I think a dauber or a blending brush gives a nice effect with this stamp, but it's not something that's specific to working with candles. It's just for this particular stamp. And I'm trying to vary my angles a little bit and do a little bit of second generation stamping where I don't re-ink in between, just so that there's some variety in the look. I'm going to come in with my snips and sort of fussy cut around this border. Now, I'm not trying to get into all of the little nooks and crannies. I just want to have a general rough shape.
Once I have that cut out, I will go ahead and place it on my candle. So I'm putting it here, and I love the way that looks already. After I put the tissue paper on, I'm going to take my wax paper and then wrap it around that. I want to make sure that my position is good. And I want to try to get everything as smooth as I can. Move the heat around. Don't stay too long in any one position. And of course, be very careful not to burn your fingers. What you'll start to notice is that some of the wax on the wax paper will form little beads. And if you look through the paper, you'll start to notice that the edges of the tissue paper begin to disappear. So after I've done a section, I'll show you. When I peel off the wax paper, basically that tissue paper has been fused to the surface of the candle. And so I'm just going to continue in the same way all the way around. Mine is melting very nicely and I'm not getting any kind of dripping or anything because I'm being really careful to move the heat around pretty quickly. But if you were to get some bubbling up or drips, what you can do is to roll it across the surface of the mat or some scrap paper on your table while the candle's still a little bit warm. You can also do this just as extra insurance to keep the candle smooth. Now when I get to this seam, I'm going to decide how I want to cut it so that it looks a little bit more natural. So this looks a little bit odd having this just jut out from nowhere, so I'm going to trim that part off. And it's fine that they overlap in that area. I think it looks good. Now in the area where it overlaps, you are gonna need a little bit more heating because the wax has to seep through both layers of the tissue. And as you go around, just keep checking. If you find any areas that have not fused very well, you can always just put the wax paper over it and add a little bit more heat again. So there you have it. There's our candle, and I think it looks great with this along the bottom border. I hope that you've enjoyed this dose of creativity and that you'll have a chance to try it out for yourself. I would love to know if you make one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and until then, have a great day.